So with season four almost being over, I think a big part of the community wonders what does the future hold for Division 2. A couple of weeks ago, a lot of us would answer that a Division 3 game is possible to be announced any time now. Some others would have said something like a year 3 DLC is in the making. Others would have said that the game is just dead. However, with Massive announcing that they work on a Star Wars title, in addition to the Avatar title that we already knew about, Division 3 seems unlikely for the moment. Maybe in a couple of years from now we get a third division when Massive will have finished with the projects that they're working on at the moment, but right now it seems like they're too busy to actually create a third idol at the same time and I think that is totally understandable. I don't think that any studio could like produce three titles at the same time. So the question remains, what will happen to Division 2? Even though I used to believe that we would get a Division 3, as I already said with the latest announcements, a year 3 DLC seems more likely than a new game. There have been some rumors that Redstorm is back working on Division 2. A year 3 DLC coming out around March would mean that Massive or Redstorm would have been working on it for quite some time now, which means that it would have been completed by now and Massive could move on to Star Wars while at the same time leaving Redstorm take taking care of Division 2. What I'm trying to say here is that I'm pretty sure that Massive knew about the Star Wars a few months before they actually announced it, so they could have prepared some new content for Division 2 before they abandoned it and leave it to Redstorm. Redstorm would be like in charge for fixing bugs, doing server maintenance every week, and of course releasing any new content that the game might introduce. Of course, none of that has been confirmed. This whole video is based on a very few facts and many speculations. I want to be completely clear about this. But it seems odd to me that they would just leave Division 2 to die. Division 2 is supposed to be a very successful title, bringing a lot of money to the studios that are working on it. Also, as a celebrity, I'm sure that Massive knew that they would work on Star Wars for quite some time now, so I guess they had enough time to prepare a Division 2 Year 3 DLC, which, made, which would make sure that Division 2 stays alive for another year. Now, you may be wondering why another year, because in a year from now, they might have a new studio working from them or uh, maybe Redstorm uh, is like in charge for creating an even newer content uh, or like a DLC or whatever you know like it gives them the chance it gives them the ability to have one year to see what will happen with Division 2 you know it just buys them time they might want to like keep like adding new content to Division 2 like Destiny is doing they might want to like be like you know what this game is over we will keep the servers up for a couple new years, for a couple few more years, but like in, or t in two or three years from now, you will get your new division game. But it would just give them the option to do, it would give them the availability to have more options, is what I'm trying to say. A lot of people think that Division 2 is a dead game already, however, that is not the case. Just search on YouTube videos that have been released the last few months title with titles like Division 2 New Player's Guide or Division 2 Beginner's Guide and just check how many views they've got or look on Reddit and on Facebook groups where there are a lot of new players asking for advice. Division 2 is not dead. Also keep in mind that the majority of the players, I think that they're not a part of Facebook group or Reddit or whatever. I think that the minority actually is like active on Reddit and on groups and on teams and whatever. I think they're like a lot of solo players out there or like just small groups of friends who have never visited Reddit or they have never like entered a Facebook group or a Discord server or whatever. Division 2 is not dead, but the veterans of the game or at least some of them have started getting bored. And when I say veterans, I don't necessarily mean like the best players that have been playing since the lands of the game, but players have been playing for quite some time now. Getting bored after spending 500, 600, 700 hours playing the same game with little to no new content at all for the last, like, what, five months it is now? I think it's pretty understandable. But yeah, my honest opinion is that we will get a year three DLC in a few months. And the whole Massive not saying anything and just missing for the last couple of weeks situation, I think it's because they want us to complete the season that we're currently in first. Like, 
see what happens with Faye, and then they will be back with more announcements and things like that. Or, or at least that's what I'm guessing. Because if like we kill Faye or whatever, if we get to the point to see what happens with Faye, then I'm pretty sure that we will know by that moment if there's gonna be new content coming to the game or not. For example, if we go kill Faye and nothing happens, then I'm pretty sure that, you know what, it's GG. We're fucked. The game is over. But if we go and like uh, either Faye escapes or kill her, but then like something else happens that gives us like uh, raises some questions or whatever, I think that if there is a room for more story, then I think that we will be able to figure it out and that it would mean that we will get content or a new DLC or whatever. But yeah, th that's pretty much it. Uh, as I told you, this is just my opinion. Uh, most of it most of it are speculation and yeah i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe for more content i covered division one and division two and very soon i will start streaming on at least two two days a week and yeah if you feel like that's something you're interested in make sure to subscribe see you next video bye bye